Hi, welcome to our lesson for today. We are focusing on systems technology and we are going to be looking at reasons for using computers. Now, whenever you think of a, uh, a computer, you'd obviously think of what is it that you can do with it. But there's a lot of other reasons that you can actually use your computer for, but obviously it will not be the same because we are different users and we use computers for different purposes. Now, let's look at a few reasons why you should use a computer. Now, the first one is computers allows us to actually save paper. Now, when we use computers, less paper and printing can be reduced. The second one is we can save time. Now, when we save time, it means that computers can help us save time in doing tasks manually. Now, when you do tasks manually, it can take longer. But with the help of a computer, it actually takes less time. Now, again, computers can help us in terms of labor. Now, how they actually help us by reducing the amount of work that we will have to do if we're not using a computer. Another one is for communication costs. Now, in terms of communication, we know that communicating with people has become cheaper because of different types of e-communications. Now, it has been cheaper because now you are not forced to actually make phone calls, but you can actually send instant messages, you can send SMSs, you can send email in order to have communication with someone else. Now, there's more other reasons why other people would use computers. Now, let's explore some of these reasons. Now, another important reason is accuracy. Now, what are we referring to when we talk of accuracy? We say that computers allows us to process huge amounts of data without errors if given correct instructions. Now, if you give your computer correct instructions, it would eventually give you correct information. And that is how we know that computers are accurate. Now, efficiency, we're referring to they do a lot of dangerous tasks as well as operations far much better and more accurately than humans can, which is something that you can think for yourself how much errors you can make whenever you're doing other jobs. Now, reliability. Now, when we say computers are reliable, we're referring to they are more reliable in performing tasks without tiring without complaining, which I sometimes do, or asking for more money and really failing or breaking. You know, sometimes you'd uh, obviously feel not good enough to actually go to work. So we know computers most of the time would really rely on what the user is actually using the computer for. So they won't just wake up one day and decide today I'm not working unless there's obviously a problem or a fault somehow. Right. More reasons. Now, computers can also help us on effect on time as well as distance. Now, what we mean here is that they allow us to communicate and work with anyone in the world at any time we can and no matter where they are. So you don't have to think about if you have to talk about uh, a certain topic and you're thinking of, oh, it's too late, I can't really talk to someone about that, it really doesn't matter because you can just drop them an email and they can receive the email whenever they receive the email and they can be able to send back the reply. Or even if the person is very far away from you in another continent, you can still be able to have proper communication. Now, lastly, is global communication. Now, global communication has actually made the world to be one village. Now, when we say one village, it is because of social networks that has allowed us to communicate with anyone in the world. So we no longer have communication barriers where you are now forced to only communicate with people who are only closer to you. Now, this has also allowed us to, uh, to actually have what we call web tools. Now, what do we benefit from getting these web tools? Now, for example, let's look at blogs. 
Now, blog is an example of a web tool. Now, blogs will be or will act as an online diary that allows discussions as well as interactions between people. So what happens is one would create a blog and then other users are allowed to comment and actually contribute in terms of the topic or the discussion on the blog, which obviously allows interaction and, and discussion. And then another user can actually have a wiki. Now, wikis is where obviously a user can add or edit the content on the site. Now, obviously, this is part of a web tool where it allows us to communicate. So these were some of the reasons of using a computer. That is it for our lesson, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.